Today, I want to talk about practicing joy, its benefits, and how to create more of it. Hey, sis, my name is Colette, and I created this channel as a safe space with you in mind. I help Black women to embrace new seasons of their lives with purpose and joy by pursuing resilience, practicing self-leadership, and pivoting into entrepreneurship. If anything I've said resonates with you, welcome to the community. At this time, I suggest that you grab a piece of paper and something to write with, as we're going to go through quite a bit of information today. You'll see me looking down. I'm looking at my notes so that I don't forget to tell you what I'm supposed to tell you today. Um, so go ahead and get comfortable and let's talk. So what is joy? Joy, sometimes referred to as happiness. The terms are used interchangeably. I'll say joy. I will be referring to a report later and they refer to it as happiness. But if I say joy, you can insert happiness if you feel better. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. Happiness or joy, it's the overall sense of, we of wellness, of well-being. Uh, joy is a positive emotion. And it's usually characterized by a sense of satisfaction, contentment, fulfillment. And there are other ways that people characterize it. Sometimes you hear people um, describe it as that thing that makes you feel that all is well with the world. They're not saying that the world is perfect or even that their life is perfect, but they have a sense of joy and peace. According to positivepsychology.com, they have found that there are six benefits to happiness or joy. One, and those are health benefits that I'm referring to, six health benefits to happiness and joy. One, improved heart health. A study found that individuals who are happy or joyful, they reduce or lower their risk of heart disease by 13 to 20, excuse me, 13 to 26%. Um, that is amazing. That tells us that when we are joyful, it helps us in a lot of ways um, in our health. Uh, and I'll give you a couple more examples. Uh, two, the ability to com combat stress or to manage stress. One research study found that happier individuals have lower levels of the stress hormone called cortisol. I was blown away by this. Um, it, it, it just, it helps a lot. I have been dealing with a lot of stress and it's funny because um, I, I feel different and I am uh, happier and I have joy and I don't feel as stressed and frazzled and you know, because we're all running around, we're doing stuff. We have to run and maybe pick up kids from school, go to PTA meetings, go to a meeting at work, um, go to the bank, go grocery shopping, cook. Lots of stressors in our society. But happiness, as it turns out, or joy helps to manage and reduce uh, the cortisol levels. Um, three, studies revealed that people who are happier, they tend to have stronger immune systems. And this is big because um, they found that when you have a stronger immune system, of course, your ability to fight infections or even to ward off illnesses is, is greatly improved because as we know, everything that happens within our bodies, um, we can find the cause and effect in our immune systems. Four, people who are happy, 
they tend to be, you know, healthier overall. And they think it's because people who are happy, they tend to eat better. Um, many of them exercise and, you know, they're able to implement uh, stress management techniques and just different things that's going to support their overall health. So that was interesting. And I think that that's good because what it tells us is that we can control, um, one, we can control how we feel, but two, we can control our health quite a bit. Five, studies also showed that happiness or joy can reduce pain. Researchers think this happens because individuals who are happy are able to think differently. And in return for thinking differently, they are able to uh, respond to pain or feel pain differently. And they found this to be um, specifically true as it relates to individuals that experience chronic pain like arthritis, um, but it's, it's very interesting. Um, if you get a chance, I really encourage you to, to go to the link and pull up the um, actual uh, report that I'm looking at because within the report, it gives the names of the studies, when they were done, who did them, and you can go to those studies if you have a desire to do that and just really see for yourself what they are saying. Number six, the sixth benefit that um, uh, the article talked about was increased life longevity. They think this happens because a person who is happy tends to be positive, they feel, and they feel that that impacts all of the health systems within the body, which somehow supports uh, longevity. Quick story, my grandfather, Gramps, um, he lived to be, my dad's father, he lived to be over 100 years old. And he was, he had a twinkle in his eye. Every time I saw him, he was one of the most joyful people that, I, that I've ever known in my life. And um, I just never forgot how happy he always looked. You know, and again, I'm using the word joy and, and happiness interchangeably, but I, I just never forgot that. And I, I feel and I know um, that his positive outlook in life, his faith um, in, in God and just his overall, you know, outlook on life had a lot to do with his longevity. So um, we talked about the six health benefits of practicing joy or happiness. So now let's talk about uh, 10 ways that we can create more joy for ourselves. And these are things that, you know, um, some of them take a little bit of time, but some of them we can start doing tomorrow. Some of them we already do. Um, and there are a lot of ways that we can create joy. And I'm only gonna talk about 10 of them. First one, we can sing. Now, some people can sing and some people can sing, okay? I think I can sing, but my daughter told me I cannot. In my head, I believe I can sing. And I do sing all the time. Uh, the, the songs that I sing now, I remember my sister used to say, can you uh, sing the song? with the right lyrics. Usually, I don't know the lyrics, so I make them up, but I do sing. So singing is one of the ways that we can create more joy in our life. The other way we can create more joy in our life is laughing. I laugh all the time. I laugh at myself. I laugh when I'm by myself and I laugh loud. And I, I laugh at books. If I'm reading a book, I laugh. Um, I remember people who were uh, around me um, if, when I was in the office and I would laugh. People say, oh, we'd hear you on the other side of the office. And, and we just started laughing. We didn't know what you were laughing at, but we knew it was funny. But I got it just 
uh, my grandmother told me that when I was a baby and she would take me in the store and she'd have me in the cart, she said, I was a little baby and I would just bust out laughing. And she said, I would laugh so loud that customers from the next aisle over would come over to see who was that laughing and they'd see this little baby in the cart. She said, I laugh all the time and I still do. But anyway, that's one of the ways that you can create more joy in your life is, is just laughing. Uh, three, plan for your future. You know, something happens when you plan to make changes or just move forward. Um, you just get all excited. You remember when you were a kid and, you know, um, your mom told you or your dad told you that they were planning to take you to like, you know, an amusement park and just the act of planning it, you know, uh, even if it was some time off, it was just very exciting. And, and that's still true when you're planning, if you're planning a, you know, uh, a move or, or planning to travel, you know, whatever, but planning the future, uh, it, it's exciting and it, and it kind of makes you, gets you kind of pumped up and enthusiastic. So uh, planning the future, that's a way that you can increase uh, and create more joy. Four, appreciating the beauty, all this beauty that God put on this earth. It is just amazing. You know, there are sometimes you feel down and you can just see a beautiful flower or bird and it just changes everything. So we can control what we choose to appreciate in this world. In fact, the thumbnail for today's video uh, happened because my mom loves flowers. And so she'll see a yard with flowers. She might go to the people and you know, uh, tell them that their yard is beautiful. She's done that for years. But anyway, to, today uh, she was telling me uh, about this beautiful yard with these beautiful flowers that she passed by. And we uh, we found the place and, and I took pictures uh, in front of it. And so that's how I got the thumbnail. But, uh, you know, just appreciating all the beauty that there is. And if you're stuck inside and you can't get outside and see beautiful things, look in the mirror and look at your beautiful smile and appreciate that uh, because it truly is beautiful. Five, think about an accomplishment or accomplishments. And, and you're not doing it in a braggadocious way, but sometimes, you know, you just need to think about times when you did that, okay? And that's okay. That's okay, because what it does is it builds our confidence. And we know that confidence helps us to be happier as well. Um, and it's okay. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. And if you have to Think about a time you did something. That's fine. That's fine. Number six, channel your inner child. And what I mean by that, think about things that you did as a child that made you just smile and you would get lost in doing it for hours and hours. Um, I used to love coloring and color books. It didn't matter what the coloring book had in it. I loved coloring in color books. And recently I bought myself a coloring book and some coloring pencils. I bought a uh, black woman's self-care coloring book and I love it. I spent hours just coloring, coloring and coloring. Um, so channel, channeling my inner child, you may decide, hey, you're channeling your inner child might be riding a bike. It might be playing with Tonka toys. Uh, my brother, my, I have a brother. Um, I have three brothers actually, but one of my brothers, he plays with remote control cars. He 50, over 50. And he looked just like a kid when he playing. Now, I was at his place yesterday and I kind of wanted to play with the remote control a little bit, but you know, channeling uh, that inner child is, is it, it does something because, you know, as a child, you're innocent, you know, and you either like something or you don't. And, you know, we, we as adults, sometimes we need to get back to that place of just awe and everything's, a, you know, it's, it's, we're discovering things and, and it helps us. 
So number six was to channel our inner child. Seven, go to your happy place. And when I say go to your happy place, this could be literally a happy place. Like um, maybe you might want to go to a beach. Uh, somebody else might decide that they um, want to go to the mountains. Um, someplace that gives you, you know, give you a little something, you know, and makes and supports you feeling good. You just like this. This is my place. This is my place. It could be figuratively. You know, maybe, maybe daydreaming, you know, I, I daydream quite a bit. I, I like to just run with things and it relaxes me too. Uh, so I like to be by a waterfall or water and I daydream. I'm not real crazy about the sand, but any place where there's water, you know, or birds chirping, it, you know, I, I love it. It just does something to me. So going to your happy place is a way that you can create more joy. Another way that you can create more joy, and this is the eighth way, is to rebuild or strengthen a relationship. Yesterday, I reconnected with one of my girlfriends. Me and her had been friends for over 40 years since I've been a child, actually. Um, well, I've known her since I was a child and we became friends when I became an adult. And we just kind of fell, you know, fell, uh, fell apart, you know, not fell apart, but you know, life. She has a child, I have children. You know, you get married, you're living your life. You moved out of town, you come back and things are a little different. And so we kind of, you know, um, uh, we went through a season, but yesterday, Something just said, go by um, her house. And I did. And I went by, I didn't see her. I saw the car and I went back by and, and she was out. She, we, we passed each other in a car and I yelled out her name and she was like, oh, and I was like, oh. So we spent some time, excuse me. <coughs> we went out to dinner and we talked and laughed and talked some more. We cried and, you know, we had a wonderful time and we have pledged to stay connected, you know, because we, we were road dogs, you know, for many years, like I said, over four, four decades, that's a long time, <coughs> excuse me. But um, it, it was wonderful, you know? So reconnecting and rebuilding relationships that are important to you and she was important to me and she still is. And so that, that was wonderful. And it just happened yesterday. Number nine, dancing. I love, 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 love to dance. I'll dance with somebody by myself, uh, with music, without music. I love to dance. And it just does something to you, you know? Uh, and I, I had gotten away from going out dancing. Um, I don't party anymore. You don't have to party. You can just dance at home. And so I've started doing that. I'll find a YouTube video and, and, and do whatever. And I love it. I can do it for hours. I love to dance. So dancing is one of the ways that you can create joy in your life. Number 10. Number 10 to me is the most important for me, okay? And it's showing gratitude, being grateful every single day, being grateful. And I'm gonna go a step further and suggest that you write down the things that you're grateful for. So for me, um, the practice of writing down at least seven things I'm grateful for today, uh, a day um, in this, I don't know if you can see it in this, in this gratitude journal, I love it. I love it. I've been doing it. I, I had dropped off for a little bit and, you know, I don't beat myself up over it. I've started back doing it, but I write, you know, seven things and they can be small things. They can be big things. They can be a mix of big and little things. Some days I say, I'm grateful to have hot water. You know how many people in the world don't have hot water or even running water? Um, some days I'm grateful for, you know, um, 
it's raining and I'm at home, <laughs> you know, or, or, you know, I got a call from somebody I care about and we talked or whatever. It could be something smaller, big. Today, um, the seventh thing that I put that I was grateful for, I put hope. I'm grateful that I have hope, you know? So those are the 10 things that you can do uh, to create more joy in, in your life. Hope it's been helpful. Um, we'll talk more about uh, joy and resilience and, and how that works. I do wanna say that in the last video, which I'll link in the description below, we talked about 10 ways that black women can build their resilience. <clears throat> Joy goes with resilience because when we talk about resilience, we're talking about um, our ability to bounce back from something that has occurred. And in the other video, I mentioned that people who are resilient, they tend to be able to remain hopeful and, and, and see things uh, for how they are, but they're also able to keep a positive attitude, which is kind of related to joy, um, so you can use or leverage joy to build your resilience. Uh, so, and that's very, very important. Again, uh, pursuing resilience is one of the pillars of this channel. And we're talking a lot about resilience in life, in workplace, in the business world. We'll talk about the importance of being resilient and at, at resilient. And as you all know, we've all been through some things. So our resilience helped us in many cases to, um, to kind of deal with what we've been through. And again, you can use joy as a way, uh, you can leverage joy as a way to also build your resilience, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, do me a big, big, big favor and hit the thumbs up, the likes, and then share this video. It lets YouTube algorithm know that people are feeling the videos that I make and it pushes it up so that the video is presented to others as a suggestion. I'd appreciate that so much. And if you would like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you as a part of the community. When you do subscribe, make sure you hit the notification button. That notification button, excuse me, notification bell. When you hit the notification bell, it lets yeah, YouTube will let you know when I drop new videos. The other thing is, if I left something out of the list or you think you have other things that you do to practice joy, why don't you share them with the community? Other people may be able to benefit from it. I'd love to hear your comments. And then the last thing, if you have suggestions about videos you would like for me to do, consider putting it in the comments. I do read the comments and I, um, I, I'm trying to capture all the comments and, you know, keep the engagement going. I will be dropping videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays until our next video. Have a good one. We'll talk.